Right, so this is another uh, question from the topic of mass spectro mass spectrometry and you know till now you might have seen a pattern in the questions that have been asked in mass spectrometry. It's basically based on the natural abundance or the isotopic effect and most of the questions are based on the molecular ion peak, right? So, um, so that's why it's sometimes very important to identify the kind of pattern that, are, that has been going on, right? So this, this question was asked in GATE 2015 and if you remember clearly in June 2017 paper as well, there was a question on the molecular ion peak and the natural abundance of iridium chloride if I'm not wrong, right? So uh, you have to identify patterns and these patterns are repeated in every entrance exams. So if in one entrance exam there is one particular new question that has come up, it has a high probability that it will be asked in the other entrance exams as well. Right, now coming on to the question, those of you who have seen my previous mass spectrometry questions or videos, uh, for them it, it, it might be very easy. But for those of you who are watching my video for the first time, I'll, I'll give a little detailed explanation, right? Not, 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 not a thorough explanation, but a little bit detailed explanation. And then I'll go on to the shortcut method on how you can solve it. Use, not a shortcut met method, but just by using your mind and logic. And you can solve it in, in, in a quite, in a, in a less amount of time, okay? So anyway, so the question is that the mass spectrum of a dihydro compound shows peaks of relative intensities of 1 is to 2 is to 1. So the intensity of the peaks is given as 1 is to 2 is to 1 and these are the molecular ion peaks which are of the value m, m plus 2 and m plus 4. So m is the molecular ion peak and we obtain a value of m plus 2 and m plus 4. So these kind of values, the higher than molecular ion peak values are obtained only for isotopes, okay, for higher isotopes. What is the molecular ion peak? The highest peak that is the, the, the peak that is obtained, uh, I mean, uh, molecular ion peak you can say is the molecular mass of the compound. That is the molecular ion peak. The highest peak you obtain a mass spectrum, right? So only, high, I mean, you can obtain a peak higher than the molecular ion peak only if there is a particular atom which has isotopes which are of higher atomic mass, right? So if you see in the, in the, in the uh, options, we have chlorine. So chlorine has 35.5 and 37.5 isotope. So uh, I'll just write down the abundances first, the natural abundance. So 35.5 has a natural abundance of 75%. Okay, this is chlorine. 37.5 37 has an abundance of 25%. Right? Then we have uh, bromine. So 70, 79 bromine has a natural abundance of Roughly 50% and 81 81 BR also has a natural abundance of 50%. So they both have equal abundance and 35.5 and 37.5 chlorine and chlorine have abundance in the ratio 3 is to 1. And fluorine only has one isotope of a natural abundance 100% that is 19F. So now we are obtaining if you see molecular ion peak of M plus 4 that is the molecular ion peak plus 4. Now if you see the first option, we have one chlorine and one fluorine and one methyl and carbons are there. So carbon also has C13 but C13 natural abundance is only 1.1%. So you do not see a molecular ion peak uh, with C13. So you can ignore that. Now coming on to chlorine and fluorine. Chlorine does not have a higher isotope. But chlorine has one higher isotope uh, which has an atomic mass of plus 2. right? But since there is, there is only one protein, uh, sorry, one chlorine, sorry, since there is only one chlorine, there is no chance that you can get a molecular ion peak of M plus 4. The maximum you can get is a molecular ion peak of M plus 2. So the first option you can cancel out without even solving anything. Now coming on to these three questions, uh, sorry, these three options, we have two chlorines over here, so we can get M plus 2 if both are plus 2, right? Then we have one bromine and one chlorine. Again, we can get plus four, and uh, then we have one bromine and two bromines. In this case, also we have we can get M plus four. Now, what you have to do is, if you want molecular ion peak M, okay, I'll solve for this one. You can solve uh, for the rest uh, rest of the options and find out the answer, right? Uh, so, if I take molecular ion peak, so for the molecular ion peak, 
this bromine has to be 79 and this bromine also has to be 79 so we can write that this pro the bro let's say this is bromine 1 and let's say this is bromine 2 just for the simplification sake so 79 bromine uh, sorry 70 uh, so yeah so both have to be 79 in order to obtain the molecular ion peak okay both have to be 79 the atomic mass of atomic mass of both the bromines have to be 79 so so the first bromine also should be 79 and the second bromine also should be 79 now if you have studied permutations and combinations then you will understand that if i say that 79 bromine that first bromine also has to be 79 and the second bromine also has to be 79 so whenever in permutations and combinations and word comes that means it's a multiplication and whenever a or word comes it's a plus sign so i have said this in my previous mass spectrometry videos as well so it is important that you watch them first if you do not understand this concept right so whenever this and term and term comes it means multiplication and whenever this or comes it means plus so the first bromine has to be 79 and the second bromine also has to be 79 okay now what are the relative abundance, what is the abundance of 79 bromine? 50% so you can write it as 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 so this is equal to 0 0.25 okay uh, sorry 0 0.25 yeah 0 0.25 okay so 0.5 into 0 0.5 0 0.25 now uh, coming on to m plus 2 now for m plus 2 what we can have is the first bromine can be 79 and the second bromine can be 81 so we have a and and the second bromine can be 81 so then we will get 1 plus 2 if one bromine, if for the first bromine is 79 and the second bromine is 81 we get uh, we get one option or or the first bromine can be 81 and the second bromine can be 79 got my point Either the first bromine can be 79, first bromine 79 and second bromine 81, that's why a multiplication sign, or the first bromine 81 or the second bromine 79, right? So this can be written as 0 0.5 into 0.5, that is the natural abundance of 79 and 81, plus 0 0.5 into 0.5. So this comes out to be 0 0.5. So this 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 value comes out to comes out to be 0 0.25. This value also comes out to be 0 0.25. So overall we get 0 0.5. Now m plus 4 if we talk about m plus 4 means both the bromines have to be 81. This one also has to be 81 and this one also has to be 81. There is no other combination that we can have. So both have to be 81. And what is the abundance of 81? 50 percent. So 0 0.5 into 0.5 so this comes out to be 0.25 now if you take out the intensity this is for m plus 4 right this is for m plus 4 this is for m plus 2 and uh, this one over here is for m so the 0.25 upon 0.5 upon 0.25 so the relative intensity is 1 is to 2 is to 1 0.25 so you can uh, you can say this is 1 you can it says a relative intensity right so this is 1 and this is this is equal to 0 0.5 so this is 2 so 1 is to 2 is to again this is 0 0.25 so 1 is to 2 is to 1 so the correct answer is option number B this is the two bromines and now I'll tell you the shortcut method okay now the shortcut method is such see we, we are getting the relative intensity of M it is given the intensity is 1 is to 2 is to 1 the relative intensity that means that the probability of m and m plus 4 has to be same now if you, for the first option we cancel out if you look at the third and the fourth option in the fourth option uh, we have two chlorines okay and the relative abundance of chlorine 35.5 is 75 percent and 37.5 is 25 percent now our molecular ion peak and our molecular ion plus 4 peak has to have the same intensity so if you take the molecular ion peak so then we'll multiply 0 0.75 into 0 0.25 right because both sorry we, can, we have to multiply 0.75 into 0.75 to get the molecular ion peak because both have to be 35.5 so we'll get some value 0.375 if you multiply 0.75 into 0.75 we'll get 0.35 whereas if we want m plus 4 
if you want the m plus 4 value we have 37 we have we, 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 we will want to have both 37.5 for m we want both to be 35.5 and for m plus 4 we want both to be 37.5 so if you multiply by 0.25 into 0.25 and uh, and if you multiply 0.75 into 0.75 they will never come they will never never come out to be equal right they will never never come out to be equal so that is why this cannot be the correct option so you do not even have to calculate just by knowing the abundance you can calculate and coming on to this one similar way see uh, one bromine and one chlorine so bromine has 0.5 if you are talking about the molecular ion peak so 79 bromine has 0 0.5 and 35.5 chlorine has 75 abundance. So 0 0.75 into 0 0.5 will be for the intensity of molecular ion peak. But if you are talking about M plus 4 then bromine is 0 0.81 only. Uh, sorry, the bromine is 0 0.5 only because 81 bromine also has 0 0.5. So here the bromine will have the same abundance 0 0.5 but the 37.5 chlorine will have an abundance of 0 0.25. So, in for the molecular ion peak, we are, we, are, we are multiplying 0.5 into 0.75 but for M plus 4 peak, we are multiplying 0.5 into 0.25 and they will never come out to be equal. So, the only option where you will get uh, the ratio 1 is to 1 for M and M plus 4 is this one, right? So, this is one simple way and if you think logically, it will hardly take you 15-20 seconds to solve a 2 marker and this came in gate 2015 right it was requested by uh, one of you i forgot the name so sorry for that but uh, thank you for requesting this question this this was one good practice question for you guys right